LPT if you don't like unexpected visitors. Answer your door holding your coat keys bag. If it's someone you don't want to see you can tell them you're just about to go out. If it is someone you don't mind seeing them you can tell them you just got back. Just don't answer. Me in my pajamas and no shoes carrying my bag out the door. This is so stupid lol. What if I don't want to go out? Do I have to go out anyways? How about you just don't answer the door or talk to them like an adult? WTF is this shit. Oh great let me tag along. That is what I would hear. Now Phil and I have to go shopping together. Just don't answer your door. Wouldn't it be easier to just not answer the door? Imagine thinking faking it in your own home is a good approach. Simply don't answer. I'm really confused. Why would I be answering the door? You put on a whole show just because you can't tell someone no or not answer the door. You should not be giving anyone tips on life. How many times can you do this before it is Seuss? Damn it Eileen every time I come you're going to get a colonoscopy. Your life must be full of inefficiencies. Get. Ring doorbell and don't answer. If they know you're home tell them you were in the shower and didn't hear it. But then I have to go out. Just be honest no need for excuses. Just I can't right now call me later bye. If you remain honest with your loved ones. They will believe you when you say you can't or don't want to. That's just extra stress to play minor social games with people. LPT2 There is no need to deliver an explanation to other people. Not everything has to be an elaborate trick. Either be direct or don't answer. Just answer the door naked, you cowards. Bold of you to assume I answer the door when unannounced people come knocking. Very rarely does anyone just come up to my door without asking first. Answer but have some backbone. Don't want to talk to someone, don't. Don't feign an excuse. How often does this happen to you? I can't remember the last time someone showed up unannounced expecting to come in and visit. I would absolutely not recommend doing this in my neighborhood because a lot of times potential. Intruders will knock on the door to make sure no one is home first by answering the door with your coat keys etc. All you're doing is saying wait 10 minutes and then break into my house. I'll tell you what really works. Towel around your waist and half a face of shaving cream. Saying the fuck do you want? I think at this point every real LPT has already been covered so now it's just reposts and nonsense. Like this lol. Exert dominance by standing in your underwear staring at them through the window until they leave. I ain't gotta do shit for you. Or, just say hi. I am busy right now. Bye. Op you're clearly a people pleaser and an introvert. Holding a kid also works well. Haha, <laughs> that's a great tip actually. I usually just hide in the closet though. I've been known to throw a bathrobe on and wrap my hair in a towel. It worked. I just don't open the door if I'm not expecting anyone. You call first even if we do have an appointment. Call when you leave your house. So I have time to clean up my house and myself. That is all. Thank you. Finally a useful LPT. I don't understand why I have to hold my coat to say I was just about to go out. There's a sword. Under the couch. An easy out if you do answer the door and they are selling something like lawn care or windows etc. Is to tell them you are renting. Sometimes people have a hard time saying no. This might be easier. Get a ring camera see who it is. Look through the window. Or don't answer because who wants uninvited visitors and everyone else is just selling shit you. Don't want. Answer the door with toilet paper in hand and say you're having a shitty day and you stink. 
bathrobe, slippers, car keys, check. Dude it's 2023, who still goes and knocks on doors to see if their friend can come out to play. Wow. This is as good as the trick of hanging up on yourself mid-sentence when you want to get off the phone with someone. Open door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Or just install a trap door covered with a doormat down you go. Why is this even a LPT with up votes to the post? Why not just don't answer the door? Why go through all these useless hoops? Or just tell them you don't want to talk them. It's a lot easier than carrying on some charade for years. Who gets unexpected visitors? And if you do, why can't you tell them you are busy? Or don't answer? Why are you resorting to trickery? Anti-social LPT strikes again. Just put a no soliciting sign on your door. Mine says something about no soliciting or leaving pamphlets and violators will be fed to the zombies. Or tell the person you don't want to whatever it is. Life's not so hard if you're just honest and open with people. How paranoid am I if I think this is a good way to get burglarized while home? Just be direct. X200B. Go watch a bunch of sitcoms and you'll see how many problems are caused by simply not being direct. If you don't want people to drop by unannounced, say that. X200B. Too many of these LPTs are about finding ways around just saying what you want. Y'all need to get over confrontation. Or you could establish boundaries. So you won't have to pretend to be going somewhere. You will likely have M respecter for yourself that way. Husband wearing faded, torn underwear holding keys and coat. I find using the word scrotum as often as possible also helps. Life pro tip to lie instead communicating or having confidence in oneself. Got it. People try so so hard to solve such an easy problem. No thanks I'm busy. There. Fixed it. Stop reinventing the wheel. Humans evolved to develop speech for this reason. Whenever I answer the door and some salesman, politician, or religious cell it starts to greet me with, Good afternoon. How are you today? I always reply, I was doing a lot better until you rang my doorbell. That's usually enough for me to quickly terminate the conversation and send them on their merry way. Why do you need to be holding your coat or keys to tell them you're just about to go out? If you want to tell a white lie for some reason, just say it. Holding props doesn't add anything. Opens door barefoot in a wife beater and basketball shorts holding an overcoat and keys. Ah, you caught me at a really bad time I have an important meeting to get to. Just tell them to go away you pussy. Or just establish boundaries like an adult. I just say not interested and walk away. Beats carrying something to the door. You'd be surprised how little a lot of people care if you have to leave or not. It'll come with you. I'm to Dutch for this. A no soliciting sign fixes 98 of knocks. Especially Jehovah's Witnesses are really good about obeying it. The ones that still knock are usually pest control salesmen and non-English speaking house cleaners. Going door to door looking for work. This is a daft LPT that keeps making the rounds and I laugh at the ridiculousness of it every single time. Where are you going? Ah uh, the shop I'll go with you. That's pretty good trick. Particularly good for those who are oversensitive to perceived slight. That said, back in the 1980s, when I was young and quite socially active, my place had something of a party flat reputation. People would show up on my doorstep at all hours. In particular right around closing time for the bars. I finally made it a rule that people had to call first. Period. No matter what. No exceptions. It worked on about a third of my friends.